uh, there are definitely some very obscure ones. Mm -hmm. Like, when's the last time that uh, you've heard of anybody using FVWM? I think I might be the only other person who knows what FVWM is. Well, did you know that it's still maintained? No. Yeah, there's a version 3 for FDW FVWM. <laughs> it is still maintained. Because FVWM uh, in fact, was the base for a couple of... Uh, a couple of window managers, from my understanding. Yep. Yeah, XFWM yep. came from that, yeah. Now, uh, the fantastic thing <laughs> about FVWM is that it is a historically important window manager because it was the very first window manager to bring to you virtual desktops. Because uh, FVWM is something like fancy virtual, virtual desktop window manager. Huh. I didn't know uh, that far. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, TWM, by the way, saw a commit recently, too. Uh, you know, if you want to use, like, the standard of window managers, because mm -hmm. that is the X, that is the official XORG window manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out how to write a X resources config file for that one. It, the documentation is fantastic and doesn't exist. <laughs> Wait, I wonder. TWM Unix porn. Surely there's got to be at least one person. <laughs> Oh, I found one. Oh my goodness, I want to see this. <laughs> is it three? Is it three open uh, uh, terminals? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it is in fact one open terminal, a web browser. Oh, we've actually got four windows spawning in here. <laughs> is oh, that I'm impressive with TWM? Uh, so the thing about TWM is that yeah. you can't, is that when you're in TWM, you can't launch an additional <laughs> program. Oh. It has to be launched via X resources on the TWM launch time, which is why when you, you run into the XORG fallback session that, that some distros run and it boots up TWM, it immediately mm -hmm. spawns three X term windows. Cause that's the only way you can actually really realistically launch anything. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, there's a reason why people don't use it anymore. Yeah. I see why, uh, why FVWM uh, sort of became a lot more important. Than yeah, that said, uh, there's a reason why, uh, TWM is actually one of the most resource efficient window managers you can actually run. It, it literally only uses bytes of memory rather than kilobytes of memory, like TWM. Wow. Yeah. Because, you know, it's literally, because... All TWM does, mm -hmm. like literally all it does is just tell XORG, paint a window for me. And then it just plops whatever windows you want to launch inside it. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's almost like what DWM does, except DWM also has like fancy tiling rules. Because, right, right. you know, they actually want a functional window manager. <laughs> it's funny to call DWM functional, but I guess relative to TWM. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's another, uh, window manager called TWM. It's actually like tiny window manager. It's only like 200 lines of code long. Yeah. Yeah. I know about that one. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. It basically just does the same thing except that you, you know, it, it actually supports like application launching and floating windows. Wow. That's crazy. What a, what an insane feature that well, is. Yeah. What an insane concept. Oh, it has hotkeys. Whoa. Oh, wow. Uh, alt plus button one. Uh, interact ma with this is terrible document uh, documentation. Interact uh, interactive window move. Alt F one raise focus window. Wow, that's a really big feature. You can actually raise the window height. Crazy. Yeah, let's put it on top of the stack, please. The it's basically you... just like let's put the window in focus. <laughs> the f the fact that you need a hotkey to put it in focus, like just well, oh, it, it supports click to focus too because that's just a that's just an XORG standard feature. Right, right. That's fair. That's fair. Because, you know, I... Xorg's totally secure. <laughs> my, my favorite thing I, I learned about Xorg is that any other window can redraw any other window, which is just amazing. Yep. So if you have, like, you know, a password prompt, another application can just draw over that password prompt and just be like, yo, that's it, mine now. 